When the soil samples come in, they come in in a variety of ways. They may come in in a bag, they may come in in a box. We generally prefer the boxes. We sign them in and they are put in racks of 35 samples into a drying oven for two days usually. Once they're all dry, they come out. We grind them in our grinding room. Basically the sample is pulverized in a hopper and our grinder. It falls down onto a two millimeter sieve through the sieve. Anything that doesn't fall through the sieve is discarded. So you have a nice even distribution of soil particles. Anything that we don't need to measure, that is anything that's not is soil, we remove from the sample. A lot of times samples will come in with rocks, sticks, a lot of grass, uh, nails once in a while. All of those things we don't want to measure because it takes the longest. The first analysis that we do is we start to measure the organic matter in the soil. We do that by a technique called loss on ignition. We basically burn the soil at 500 degrees centigrade to burn off any organic matter. Once the, the, the crucibles cool down enough to weigh, we take the weight and from that weight we determine the organic matter. The second thing we do, we also measure pH, which is a very basic parameter in soils. It's called the master variable. It has a lot to do with availability of nutrients. From that we determine the lime requirement. Lime is used to raise the pH of the soil. Uh, in most cases that's what folks are looking for. On rare occasions they're looking to lower the pH. We add elemental sulfur. Now the last thing that we do is we measure the different nutrients in the soil. Things just like pot potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and a host of micronutrients, zinc, manganese, iron, aluminum, in some cases boron and sulfur. We basically put a portion of the soil in an Erlenmeyer flask. We add 20 mils of extractant, then we shake it for 15 minutes and then filter that. That results in a, a filtrate that we then measure on uh, an ICP. It ionizes everything within the, the liquid sample and generates different wavelengths depending upon the element that we're trying to measure. If you remember from your chemistry, maybe your high school chemistry, if you burn different metals, they burned at a different color. Basically, we're measuring those different wavelengths and from the intensity of those wavelengths present in that sample solution, we can determine how much is, is in that sample. And then from those measurements, once we determine how much is in the soil, we can make fertilizer recommendations and lime recommendations.